You know, we're going to be talking about the Critics' Choice Awards, which happened yesterday, which, I mean, I think like the second most important directing award is the DGA. I think the second most important acting award is SAG. But I think other than the Oscars, the second to me most legitimate award in general is the Critics' Choice Award. Now, the Critics' Choice used to be better. Uh, they, they've done things in the last few years that are just mind-numbingly stupid. They really have. But they're still better than the Golden Globes. They're still better than a couple of other things. So I, I still consider them kind of like the second best thing. Well, yesterday was the Critics' Choice Awards. And you know me, Rob. I am always, because the Oscars are my favorite show, I am always trying to come up with ways that the Oscars can tighten up the show. Sure. You know? To, to tighten up, there's a little bit too much, you know, unnecessary fluff in the show that can be tightened up, make the show shorter, more killer, less filler, mm. all that kind of stuff. Well, I guess not every time-saving measure is a good idea because last night at the Critics' Choice Awards, they did something really dumb. <laughs> they presented Best Supporting Actor and Best Supporting Actress at the same time. And when I say the same time, I don't mean, hey, this person is our winner of Best Actor. Came up quick, blah, blah. Okay, now quickly, this person is the winner of Best Actress. It came, no, no, no. They literally announced the nominees at the same time and then pulled one card out of the envelope to read both names. And they both had to come up on stage and take turns giving speeches, which was... For those of you who are watching that are Oscar producers, don't do this. <laughs> I mean, I'm all for time-saving measures. I really am. Like, I, I'm i still right. I don't care what anybody says. I liked the experiment they had last year of having some of the, the more technical awards, whatever, presented off screen and then showing the acceptance speech. I know a lot of people were against it, but you can't cry that you want a shorter show. But I just, I thought it was a decent move. And I think this was stupid. And the other guy who thought it was stupid was good Canadian kid Seth Rogen. Because after they had to do this award, after this award was presented, Seth Rogen came up to present an award, and he took the opportunity to talk about it. Now, this is the way it's written in The Hollywood Reporter. Seth Rogen wasted no time in questioning the show's new format of presenting two awards at once, with those winners even being announced back-to-back -back out of the same envelope. I've never been to this. Do they always give two awards at the same time? That's weird. Why do they do that? He said to generous laughter from the starry audience at the Fairmount Century Plaza. Are we crunched for time? Get another hour. It can't be that expensive. You know how I know that? Because this show is airing at 4 p.m. on the CW. That cannot be a pricey time slot from my understanding for how all this works. And then Rogan goes on to say, I'm not saying the CW is a bad network. But this is the Critics' Choice Awards, and no CW shows are nominated for Critics' Choice Awards. You're saying this is a bad network, he said to the Critics' Choice. He goes, this is airing at 4 p.m. on the CW. How expensive can it be? Rob, you've heard me You've heard me go on and whine and whine and whine for years about the Oscars needing to tighten things up. But there's a certain line you don't cross. I don't know. What did you think about this? Uh, well, first of all, I got to say, Seth Rogen, that's an impeccable tux he had yeah. on her. His suit was beautiful. Love that. Um, beautiful. But I think, John, <laughs> you know, the one thing award shows really need to do well is present the awards. That's yeah, the one thing they have to the do awards. well. And it's it's nice when they single people out for their their excellence. And by calling, like, like I wonder if it's going to be a new hiring practice that you can just hire supporting players from other movies to come be in your movie, too. Because, you know, why not put people together if they don't have to be singled out as individuals? Maybe you can just hire double the uh, the cast for your movie. So when they get awards, they all step up and they represent two movies at the same time. I don't know. No, I think that was a really, they only did it for the one award though. I, I did not see how many they I did think, for. It might've just been for the one. I mean. Cause you know, best supporting actors and actresses, they don't mean anything. They don't, I, I mean, you know, I, I, it's just, it was such a weird thing. And there's a, there's a picture. I don't know if it's in the Hollywood Reporter or Variety that had both of the actors standing on stage. And it was so awkward because you could see that they didn't really know well what do we what do we do like what are we supposed to do now who talks first like i don't know are we both on the same emotional level that we've won i mean it's such a bizarre choice i don't think it should happen again to be honest yeah, no probably not chris um hey listen i'm all open for experimenting right and you know okay you know, I, and I'm, I'm gonna cut the critics glad you choice. said that on the internet yeah <laughs> <laughs> have fun with that clip guys
<laughs> I'm not going to kink shame you. I'm glad you're into that. Good. Yeah, Anne. Oh, boy. It's Monday. <sighs> I kudos to the Critics' Choice Association for trying something. I, I, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to stifle innovation. I don't want to make anybody afraid to try something new. But I, I know this was a pretty dumb one. I don't know. What did you think? Can you see some merit in it? I mean, it was very, very odd. It was really nice that uh, Giancarlo Esposito tried to make lemonade out of the situation of, oh, it was nice because I wasn't alone. You know, sometimes you're just worried about being too nervous. <laughs> yeah. And it was so nice that I had Jennifer there. That was and so generous of I, him. I, I at it's least... like using the restroom with a friend. <laughs> no, funny <laughs> system, <Yeah>, right? <laughs> okay. You know, and, and... Just one? It's <laughs> somebody. Just one day, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh man but it, it does seem very very odd like it, it just feels very uncomfortable because a lot of times too on these awards show i love jennifer coolidge so much i didn't need 15 minutes or so of her just doing her whole i'm nervous to talk and present an award <clears throat> thing because that took away from people having their time to actually present the award right mm. or uh, uh to accept their award and same thing here if you're going to be honoring somebody's performance maybe give them a moment to actually accept that award and yeah, if you Enjoy want to shorten it? the moment, yeah. fine. If you want to, that's that, fine. But that one weird thing about just arbitrary, oh, yeah, you two up on stage together. Yeah. Carlo, Gene Carlo Esposito. <laughs> We're just going to throw you. You know what, though? He That guy is a class act. If you've ever All seen him speak, around. Yep. he's always saying something spiritual or enlightening. Or Throw it to him and he'll always do right by you. So, All right, guys. Question is for you. What did you think about? I don't know. Like maybe you thought, hey, this is an innovative screen time saving <laughs> approach. And maybe maybe there's some merit to it. I thought it was ridiculous. Hopefully they learn their lesson. They won't do it again next year. But whatever you thought about that and also Seth Rogan's comments, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video. Rocket Money. Do you know how much your subscriptions cost? Most Americans think they spend around $80 a month on subscriptions, when the actual total is closer to $200. If you don't know exactly how much you're spending every month, you need Rocket Money. When I started using Rocket Money, I couldn't believe how many things I was still paying for. Anne and I haven't lived in Burbank for almost two years, and I didn't realize I was still paying for a gym membership in Burbank for two years. Rocket Money, formed known as Truebill, is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Over 80% of people have subscriptions that they've forgotten about, like that streaming service you bought to watch just one show on, or that free trial that you never even used, or like me, a gym membership in Burbank. Simply find the subscriptions you don't want and press cancel, and Rocket Money will cancel it for you. So stop throwing your money away. Cancel unwanted subscriptions and manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash campia. That's rocketmoney.com slash campia.